Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, Jesus. Bricks, cut off my carts. I'm stuck here. Jake is going out with a 19-year-old. Does she think I'm 17? Why? Well, that's what I told her. You're going out with a 19-year-old lap dancer? Me and Brick split up badly. He was psychologically abusive, especially to Misty. So you've done a runner with Brick's daughter? It's that man! He's back! The guy that's looking for Auntie Angela. Don't answer it. He might think we're out. I don't think so. Karen's waving at him. OK, he doesn't know she's here, so when he mentions Angela, act surprised, but not too surprised, don't do too much. Just, just look normal. Look normal. Oh, Mr and Mrs Brockman. Hello, I'm Darren Armitage, senior partner of the law firm Schneider Mulpigo. Uh, you may already have one of these. Um, yes. No. But, uh, well, you probably didn't see it because Karen gave it to me earlier. But, but, well, not... It wasn't that much earlier, so I didn't have a chance to tell you. That must have been Karen who cross-examined me yesterday. We may be recruiting her soon. Please ask Angela to come to the door. Angela? They're not here. They? I just said Angela. Look, I don't know why you're here, but whatever it is, could you please put it in writing? Because we're right in the middle of a quiet family dinner. We don't get many callers. They get excited. Auntie? Did you know your husband was going to turn into a monster? No, obviously, I didn't. We did. Angela's done it again, Mummy said. She's married a sociopath. What is a sociopath? Look, I, I really don't want to talk about this right now. He's Mafia. You can see by the cold, merciless eyes. And the briefcase. He's not Mafia. He is. He's like that guy in The Godfather. The nice one. He's not the one who kills you. He does the paperwork afterwards. You can imagine him saying, I'm sorry about Angela. It's just business. You know nothing about the Mafia. I do. Kylie Allen's dad's in it. He's a security guard at Super Bowling. By day and an assassin by night. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that Angela has a casual relationship with the truth. Now, she may have told you otherwise, but the truth is that she has illegally abducted a vulnerable 15-year-old girl and is using her as leverage to try and bump up her divorce settlement. Illegally abducted? Yes. I know my sister, and she wouldn't do something like that, would she, Pete? Uh, no. No, no, that's very unlike her. From what I remember of her, having not seen her for some time now. Still, this is all good for you because Mum and Dad will forget about you going out with that 19 year old girl. Oh, just... So, she's a lap dancer. Is she from lap dance? No, you moron. Firstly, she's not a lap dancer, she's a pole dancer. Oh, so she's from Poland. Don't get me wrong, it's not just you. Lots of dads and some mums turn into monsters. Tanya's dad says that mums turn into monsters once a month. But I think he's getting them mixed up with werewolves. Look, this is not... Do you think my mum and dad will suddenly turn into monsters? No, Karen. There are some people who can never surprise you. They can surprise me. They surprised me with a trip to Legoland. Child abduction is a most serious criminal offence. It carries a custodial sentence, both for those who carry it out and those who help them. Look, don't think you can push us around. I can, though. We're an immensely rich and powerful legal firm who can assign an entire floor of our practice to making your lives unlivable. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Yeah. Pete, he's gone. Oh, he's got a car with darkened windows. It means you can slit someone's throat in the back and no one will know. It's lucky you're still a child, otherwise they'd section you. Didn't tell him we were here, did you? Misty's under 16. Didn't I mention that? So, Misty, did you want to leave home? We had no... Angela, please. He used to lock me in my room for hours and hours. Don't be scared, Misty. You are safe here with us. I'll get it! No, Ben, don't! Oh, 
Hello. Um, sorry, they were a bit late getting in. This is uh, Otfried. Your exchange student. Oh, shit. I mean, hello, Otfried. Oh, God, I, I, it, it, oh, God, it's just gone right out of my head. Um, we've had all sorts here today. Their plane was held up, so I'm... Did Jake not mention this? Jake! No, he's a bit... But it's fine. Fine. Come on in, Otfried. Bye, Otfried, and... Uh... And good luck. Jake! Bye, Mr Hunslet. Bye, Ben. Have you got the smell out of your car yet? Not entirely. A bit hard to scrub inside the glove box. Sorry. Next time we'll manage to open the window in time. Or maybe don't eat seven scotch eggs for a bet. Beaters. We're all just in here. Please, please, Jake. come through. I'm, I'm just I'm so sorry, because it's we've had quite an un... Gosh, you're tall, aren't you? We, we've had quite an unusual day here, but... Jake. It's all back to normal now. And this is my sister, Angela. But if anybody asks, actually, it's probably best to say that she is not here. And uh, this is Misty, and she, again, is not here. Not here. That's right. Nicht here. It's a bit complicated. The exchange student you Pete! forgot to tell us about is He's here. probably got his headphones on. There's a man sitting in a van parked outside. What sort of man? He'll be a builder or something. Let's not get all... If it comes to it, Auntie, you can hide in our loft, like Anne Frank did, when she was hiding from the nuts. So, Otfried, let me give you the tour and work out where the hell you're going to sleep. That German boy was like a baby giant. I want to be that size when I'm 15. I like to sleep with the light on. But I like it off. When I sleep with the light off, it's like I'm sleeping in a cave and I get really weird dreams. Yeah, but that's why I like it. I don't like dreams. It's like you've gone to sleep, but your brain's staying up all night at sleepover with your lungs. Because your lungs have to be awake to make your sure Your whole body's awake. It's like your brain. No, no, but dreams are really good because they're like going to the cinema, but then the movie's so much better because it's like you're in it but then you're also watching it, and then the FX are always better, and you never get kicked out for being too young. Yeah, but when I go to sleep, I just want to sleep. I just want to close my eyes. Yeah, but sleep's boring without it. I just want it to be just plain black. I want to start a dream log, because I don't want to forget my favorite dream. Like, I'll have one book for the crucifixion dreams, and then I'll have another book for all the other dreams I get, because, like, I get the crucifixion dream a lot, but then, I'm kind of used to that now, so it doesn't disturb me as much as it used to. The best yeah. dreams are the ones with all like the explosions and stuff like monsters that you'll never be able to see. That's why I keep cheese in here. So that's what that smell is. Yeah, it's in one of these drawers. Right. Well, we've got a house full tonight. I just hope the plumbing's up to it. We still haven't got a strategy. Oh, maybe we should consult a lawyer. No, about... Jake and his showgirl. Look, I know it's a worry, but he is a mature 15. Maybe she's an immature 19. Oh, yes, because lap dancers are famous for being shy and mousy girls. She's a pole dancer. Sorry, our son is dating a pole dancer, which is slightly further away from being a prostitute than a lap dancer. We still need a, a strategy. Str yeah, OK, I know. You have had the safe sex conversation with him, haven't you? Yeah, ages ago. How did it go? Yeah, it was OK. I mean, there was a bit of giggling, but, you know, I was nervous. I don't want something in my head that I haven't said is OK. Yeah, but you life. can't stop hey. yourself. You but can't... it's like all the bad things in my life. All the good things are shutting it out. So whilst um, the good things go to sleep, the bad things think, oh, here's my time to mess up Karen's head. It's just not good. Yeah, but your mind doesn't fall asleep. Your body does. Your, your mind's mind awake. Your mind like, has lots of drawers in it. And then, like, at night, all the stuff just wiggles around in your head and makes weird films for you. It's just it's just like, no, I don't need that. Maybe we're, like, go to sleep. characters in someone else's dream, but then we're not actually real and we don't actually exist in the real world. I do exist. 
Well, maybe someone's got like a mental disease. And if he doesn't get over his problem, then we're going to be stuck here forever. No. Angela hasn't asked once how dad is. Perhaps she's scared to. Mom, dad, Ben's scaring me. He scares us all, Karen. Go to sleep. He says I don't exist. You do exist. Now go to sleep. Oh, I've been thinking about this whole Angela thing. I've written a sort of ledger. OK. Reasons not to help Angela. One, it's not our problem. Two, we could get into serious legal difficulties. Three, we don't like her. Four, in that book she wrote, she called you uh, manipulative and compared me to a dust mite. Five, we don't like... Oh, no, hang on. I've done that one twice. Five... She's probably lying. Reasons to help Angela. One, she's your sister. Yep. No, that's it. If you've got any others, I'll... No, sod it. We'll just tell her she's got to go. This one is the really good one. A bear gets stuck in a tree. Oh, my God, is that oh, a trampoline? Oh, I can see what's going to happen. They're going to... They're going <laughs> to... <laughs> oh! oh, that's mean. That's... It's all right. It's not mean. Let's watch it again. Let's watch it again. See, see, let me show you. Look at it in slow motion. Look at that. How... Look how high that is. That's like and five then look, trampolines. And then look, just Head slap. first into the ground. On the ground. Head first. It just bounces. It doesn't bounce, actually. It does if bounce. you watch, no, no, look, if it you does watch, bounce. its head hits the floor and then the rest of its body sort oh, of crunches well, into that's... his head. <laughs> look, look. Oh, my God. <laughs> That is terrible. <laughs> it's 20 past eight. Can you stop watching animals getting hurt on YouTube? Jake, we need a word now. <sighs> Good morning, my Helen. Oh. Good morning, Ben. Would you like sausage, bread, bacon, beans? Excuse me? I'm learning German. And in German, you have those compound nouns where you stick all the words together to make one huge long big word. Like Gehimmel, Schickel, Wurstgarten, or Blitzen, Gruber, Einen, Kleinen, Messerschmittfrau. These are not German words. No, but they could be, because you can make up any word you like. Or as you would say, you can any word you like up make. It's cool being German. It's like being Yoda. Yes, I am seeing a 19-year-old pole dancer, but don't worry, I always get my homework out of the way first. It's not quite the issue, is it, Pete? No, no, it's not. By the end of today, you need to tell this girl your real age. She has got a name, Mum. Victoria. OK. By the end of today, you have to tell your real age to Victoria. The stripper. Uh, ben, have you seen Misty? No, Auntie. The blue van with the man sitting in it is still parked outside. Thank you for keeping me up to date. Are you going to run or hide? What would you recommend? Run, because you can run, but you can't hide. Would you like some Cheerios? No, thank you. She's being chased by a scary ex-husband psycho mafia man. Misty! You're such a hypocrite. You went to that chip-ins things, the men who took their clothes off. That was ages ago. Anna was harmless. When, when women look at naked men, they just laugh. Well, cackle. Have you seen the exploding koalas? No. Well, have you seen the, um, the pogo hopping nuns? No. Well, that's better than just looking. Hello. Oh, hello, Brick. Package. Yes, we have, although why you sent it to us, I don't know. Because Angela and Misty aren't here. Yeah, just because you're a psychoanalyst doesn't mean that you can tell I'm lying. Sorry? The voice detection software on your phone tells you I'm lying. Yeah, well, the bollocks detection software on my phone tells me that you're making that up. Economic ills. And now it's time for Thoughts of the Day. Good morning, Otfried. Did you sleep well? I heard many animal noises. Oh, well, that'll be the foxes meeting. Or the new couple next door. 
Mum, Dad's on the phone to Brick. Brick? Please, what is this? Oh, well, you may as well know what, Frida. My sister married an American psychoanalyst with lots of children, um, but he turned out to be abusive, so she ran away with one of the children, but now he is pursuing her. No. What is this? Oh, that... Well, that's a hot cross bun. We eat them for breakfast sometimes. Are you OK? Rick. Sent these air tickets for Angela and Misty to go back to the States. But says that if they don't, he's going to take emergency measures in a British court to seize their passports. Oh, and prosecute us. Holy crap. I'm not falling for that. I'm not leaving this house. He could have a snatch squad waiting for me now. Well, let's just remain calm and let's... The police aren't going to come, are they? Listen, sweetheart, you don't need to worry about that. All that's going to happen is... No! I don't want to know, because if I don't know, I'm not guilty and I'm not going to be one of the people taken away in the van. Why didn't we think of that? Look, I think I've got a solution. Once Mist is 16, Brick can't do anything, so I know it's a huge ask, but if we could just stay until then... And how far away is Misty's 16th birthday? Um, five and a half months. He can't serve me an injunction if I never leave the house. You wouldn't leave the house? Well, obviously, I'd pull my weight. For five and a half months? I can cook. And you know I did that interior design course. I could get the house a makeover. What do you say? Five and a half months. All right, Pete. Listen, Angela, it wouldn't really be very practical because by that time you would be dead and Pete and I would be in prison. Could we just stay until... This evening? Yes, you can. This evening? Yes. And you simply mix in all the nuts. So, Misty, what kind of music do you like? I don't like music. Why do you have an iPod, then? To shut out the world. Otfried, what other English TV do you like? Um, I like Ricky Gervais, and uh, I like uh, the other comedian. Um, he is uh, he plays a character, a very funny character of the the fat politician, and he has uh, funny funny blonde hair. He, he walks, uh, sometimes cycles. I see him on a bike on the television. Do you mean Boris Johnson? Yes, Boris Johnson. <laughs> yes, it's so funny. You like him also? No, Otfried. He's the mayor of London. Yes, he plays the mayor of London, a very no, stupid politician. No, no. <laughs> very no. stupid and funny. Look, Otfried... <laughs> we Germany. We, we, we in Germany love him. I'm feeling a little funny. nauseous. Can we watch something that isn't a cookery show? Roll the pastry, Herbs, chives, and... Hang on, we'll, we'll get one in a sec. Angela hasn't gone, has she? What the hell is that? Tai Chi? Oh, yeah. Tai Chi, the ancient art of attention seeking. Ah, oh, Jake. I need a shower. Have you told Victoria your real age yet? Yes, yes, yes. How many times do I need to tell you? Well, it's not really the number of times. Is it true? <laughs> oh, for, right. Uh, Angela. Hi, Pete. Could you not do that in your room, maybe? It's better outside. There are more positive ions. Yeah, it's just you're setting off next door's dog. He doesn't like bright colours and weird movement. Also, you're visible to brick spy drones out here. Are you worried about the neighbours? No. Oh, my God, you are, aren't you? No, it's not the neighbours, it's the dog. Once are you it gets seriously going, telling it's... me that my needs are less important than a dog's? Well, in this case, yes. Oh, for Christ's sake! That's Jake's mobile, isn't it? Is it? Say where to meet or I pick you up your place, Vic. Well, I suppose you'd better tell him. 
Well, then he'll think that we've been reading his texts. Maybe it's best to do nothing. But then she'll come here. Yeah. Please, may I have some of your fruit? Of course, help yourself. I've lost him, haven't I? Hey? Jake, to her, and all the others that come after her. What are you doing? Well, we're clearly not welcome here. So we're just going to leave. Right, OK. Mum! There's no hot water! Well, there's a lot of us in the house at the moment. You'll just have to wait. Me and Misty will leave and face up to the consequences. However catastrophic. Fair enough. For myself and that poor, frightened little girl. Well, if that's your decision. And if this does turn out to be the last time you ever see us. I don't want you to think this was your fault. We won't. Will you be needing a minicab? Yes. Thank you. No, I find this most upsetting. I, I think you are nice people, but you behave in the ways that is not nice. Yes, ye yes, she is annoying, but you are better than this. She is your sister and they have no body, so not to help them is unforgivable. A lack of morals. Anyway, that is what I think. His English is actually rather good, isn't it? We don't really have much choice, do we? She's outside. I bet this is a bit different from your home. Oh, I think this is different from any home. Hello? You must be Victoria. Yeah. Well, don't wait out there in the cold. Wearing almost nothing. Come in. Maybe I'll just... Uh... No, come on in. We can have a chat while Jake's getting ready. No, honestly, I... Just to... come in. Come on. In you come. Misty! That's it. Hello. Pete. Let me see. This is Victoria. Hello. Hey. Why don't you two go in there and have a nice chat? Well, us two. I think it would be safer. Nice in-depth chat about things. Right, well, um... Cup of tea? No, thanks. Or a beer? Because you're... Old enough to drink, aren't you? No, thanks. Whereas with Jake, of course, that's not the case because, you know, given his age, which you, of course, know because he's told you. Sorry? He's told you he's 15. Why would he do that? Because he's 15. He's 15? Why would he tell me he was 17? Well, to impress you, I imagine. That is so sweet. <laughs> Bless him. Oh, my God. There were eight, no, nine threatening emails from Brick and his lawyers. Don't worry, Mum. There's a very good chance that none of this is real. And if it is real, there's a quantum universe with an infinite number of worlds. And in most of them, this won't be happening. Oh, hi, Martin. In a lot of them, you're probably on holiday. Well, thanks for ringing back. And in one of them, you'll be playing rugby for England. Ben, I'm on the phone. But only in this universe. Illegal. Really? Like, against the law? Yes. What, me and Jake? God, so they could arrest, like, hundreds of thousands of 15-year-old school kids all over England. That's really interesting. Well, interesting's not exactly... I can see what... now why you wanted to speak to me. So we done? Well, we're also a bit worried about what you do. The dancing? I only do it in Westminster where they make you keep your pants on. Well, that that's good. Look, we're, we're just not sure that one of those clubs is a, 
healthy environment for a 15 year old boy oh i don't let him watch the other girls but he is there in the club look if you um want to check out the club that it's you know healthy um this promo gets two people in for free you could take mrs brockman i don't think that's going to happen or not take her in the multiverse yeah you can't really call anything real because Reality isn't really real. Ben, if ever there was a moment not to question the nature of existence, it's now, so just back off! Sorry, Martin. And another universe is named Trevor. Yeah. At the end of the day, it comes down to this. He's 15, you're 19. Well, he thinks I'm 19. But, I mean, age is only a number, isn't it? Really? Sorry, did you just say... he thinks I'm 19? Well, everyone does. I have to say that or they won't let me do the dancing. I'm 16. You're 16? Yeah. You're 16 and he's... 15? I guess so. Well, I guess that's... Hi. How long have you been here? Like, five minutes. Oh, right, well, we should get going. Jake, I know you're 15, not 17. Oh. But... I'm not 19. I'm 16. You're 16? Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. Do you want to see the Steve Carell film or the space one? Uh, they're both in the Cine Centre. Yeah, the Steve Carell one. Pete? Did that go well? I... I've really no idea. Uh, Angela, look, I, I've been talking to a friend of mine, Martin, who's a solicitor. He's driving up from Portsmouth so we can talk through some of the legal options so that you and Missy are protected from brick. What I'm saying is, is you don't have to leave. You can stay as long as necessary. I'm getting back together with Brick. I'm sorry? That was him on the phone. He was lovely. He cried. But you said yourself, he's a monster. Oh, he has bad days. But I can change him. It's like I say in my book, Pete. Relationships are marathons, not sprints. Come on, Missy, we've got to go and see Gaddy! Oh, for... Uh... In German, we have the word for this kind of person. Idiot. Yeah, we say idiot as well. Also, prat, moron, git, and pain in the arse. Look, These are all good words. What matters is, is that she's going. Problem solved. Yes. Oh, by the way, Victoria's only 16. She lied about her age so she could pole dance. Right. So she's an illegal pole dancer, but she's only a little bit older than Jake. That... That's better, isn't it? I think it might be worse, but I... Do you know, I'm not sure now. It's sort of better and sort of worse. I think it is a little worse. Really? She is entertaining older men. I think you're right. He's right. They pay for this. Oh, God. This is so difficult. There has to be a question about her morals. There must be a helpline for this.